Hello, today I just bought the Xenomorph and I got this skin for him. As you can see, I have not played a single game. Level one, level bub one. I just put this perk on. No other perks, well I have these ones, but that's cause I have the hag leveled up a little bit. Um, yeah, just gone today. Uh, Alien's one of my favorite movies, so I'm gonna be having a lot of fun, and I'm gonna get crushed by survivors because I suck at this game. But it doesn't really matter because I'm playing the Xenomorph, and I'll give you my uh, my opinion. And I'm running Ultimate Weapon, which makes it so when I open a locker. Uh, survivors will scream if they're in my terror radius, and they'll be, they'll have blind, blindness for 30 seconds, which prevents them from seeing or it's like generators or me. So, like, if they have kindred, they won't be able to see me if I open up, if I open up a locker and they scream because they'll have blindness. Or if they have dark sense when they complete a gen, but if they have blindness, they won't be able to see me. So yeah. I just, hard part is like finding a match and then getting in and getting flashed by flashlights the entire game. So yeah. Something. Oh, never mind. Let's see what? Hmm, look. Oh shoot. That was not good. I just kicked my PC on accident. Um. Okay, they're all level zero prestige. Just like me on this cover. So. Hopefully, this won't be too hard. <laughs> They all seem new. Other than this, yeah. Or this Rebecca, sorry. Okay, nothing bad. Hopefully, it's a good map. Like, uh, my personal favorite is Dead Dog Saloon. But a lot of people won't agree with that because how small it is, but. I I like it for how small it is. I like it how open it is and there's not a whole lot of loops. It's a balanced map in my opinion. I like smaller outdoor maps. I don't like the indoor maps. The only one I don't really mind is Hawkins. If I'm playing killer sometimes Midwitch isn't that bad. Cause sometimes I play Huntress. And if I get Midwitch on while I'm playing Huntress, I'll be pretty happy because I can throw hatchets across the corridors or hallways, hallways, hallways. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, I thought this was Dead Dog Saloon. I was about to get searched in. Okay. Entering my tunnel. I'm tunneling, guys. Don't, don't get mad at me. I just want to circle. I have no clue where I'm going. <laughs> Hell, are you <laughs> Wait, there had to be some. Wait, what the heck? Oh, I thought she was gonna vault. Ready to me? Okay. Yeah, that's too good. This is what I thought. Her. Not even wiggling. 
So you can't really move when you're using your tail. You can't really just, like try to flick your tail like that. Which well, is kind of a bummer, but it's whatever, you know. Uh, I think they already have a gen done. Oh my gosh, wait. Give me. Scream for me. Screaming. Okay, this does have a cooldown, I think. What gen did they complete? Oh, right over here. Probably around here somewhere. Oh, now they're screaming! Wait. I actually made them all scream, and I didn't get one of them. Oh, I actually whipped it with my tail. Oh, I suck. I'm gonna leave this. Okay, I'm going back to break it. Okay, I think they got her off the hook. I like this one. Oh, I see you guys. I want to go for this guy. This is the first time I've seen this guy. Looks like he's going for the unhook. He's working on a gen? This color so far. He's not pulling it down, he's a giga. Oh! He's not a giga, he ran straight into me. Space oh. Oh. Put him right here. Scream! I wanna hook her right now. Do you wanna hook? Is she dead? Not come over here to this guy. I actually jump. Hold on. Here. I didn't mean to tunnel, you're just like the first guy I found. Sorry, Bill. Where 
team. Oh shoot, I hear someone. Wait, I'm talking? Wait, what? I hear him. I hear her. I know her. She actually just took me out. See the Mori. I could, literally, I could just kill <laughs> How much church do they have? Do I win? Oh my god, bro. What are you doing in the locker? I have a locker perk. Hey, GG's. I wanna hit her with my tail. No, that's awesome. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm not hit her. Apparently I am. Alright, GG. That's fun. Uh, one per game, by the way. Uh, okay, now I gotta give my personal opinion on them. This is the hard part. But, I said I'd do it. I'm a man on my word, even though I'm not a man. I'm just a boy. Okay, whatever. I'm going to figure this out. Uh Hmm. Let me get let me get back in the lobby. Then I'll do it. Or I should have explained his perks. I'll explain them and then I'll give him a uh reading. I'll give him uh, my preview, and then I'll give them a rating from 1 to 10. And if you guys, if this video reaches 150 likes, I will do a tutorial on how to play them. But anyways, since I forgot to do his perks, I covered ultimate weapon. Alien instinct. This perk activates when you hook a survivor. You see the aura? of the furthest injured survivor for five seconds and that survivor is oblivious for 16 seconds and oblivious prevents survivors from hearing <laughs> or being affected by the killer's terror, terror radius. So that's if you hook or if, if you see the aura. Okay. 
This perk activates when you hook a survivor. There. Okay. Rapid brutality. You can no longer gain bloodlust, but hitting a survivor with a basic attack gives you a 5% haste, haste boost for 8 seconds, and haste makes you quicker. So, for, uh... For Xenomorph, I'll have to his uh, transportation. I'll have to give a nine because when you're in the tunnels, right? You get your, you are getting your tail. You know, at nine point five, nine point five, because you're you're getting your ability, and when you're going through your tunnels, you can mark the tunnel you want to go. You can mark the place you want to go to. You're quicker, you, and when you go to one place, you can midway, you can switch through, and you can see survivors' footsteps if they're close enough to your uh, tunnel effect. So, you can see survivors, you're quick, you get to choose where you want to go, instead of like, on Rio. You can actually like, choose. So, I haven't even played on but I'm assuming that's what you have to do. Uh, so yeah, 9.5. His ability, his main ability, his tail whip. I'm gonna have to give a solid nine because of, you can hit over pallets and through windows, but it's not, no, you know what, eight. It's not a 10 because the distance. The distance on it is super short and you can't really like, actually like move your tail midway like basic it's like the blight you can't really turn you can't really move your tail when you're using it so i'm gonna have to give it an eight which gives us a 17.5 rating out of 20. so i do recommend him i do think he's easy to learn and yeah that's about it